Yo, what's up guys, this is Happy Noah with another Guild Wars 2 PvP video and this time I'm gonna show you the core hardcore DPS <laughs> warrior meditation warrior guardian, sorry. Uh, this time I'm gonna show you a slightly different build which is pretty pretty strong. I should not talk before this everything happens here. We have a uh, one, two, oh my goodness, three condition players which is really not so good against my build but we will see uh what and how 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 what 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 i can do here you um i just getting tagged uh, <laughs> oh my goodness i need condition cleanse we have enough condition cleanse uh, that's not the real problem but it is still really tricky to hold on against that we will have increased boon duration with this build but uh, I need to be careful now. This is, this is tricky. My build is pretty strong. We will have a lot of might and a lot of critical hit chance. And heavy damage output. But we will also lag on defense. So if the enemy is focusing us we will be wrecked. But otherwise we will have a lot of fun doing that. Uh, it's a ranked arena game. But it is uh, off season. As I just read. The season is already over. Uh, what else can I say? I don't know. This will be a heavy game. <coughs> if the enemies are strong, we will be... Uh, we can get punished. So, oh my goodness. I wanted to use shelter, but let's just try out the normal build here. We can try and watch if one of the enemy team will cross us. So we can burst him down a little bit. We have stand your ground as a support skill. Which is there because of the retaliation mainly, but we also will get stability to our allied friends which is also pretty nice the thief should not interact like this too early because it is dangerous we can now just try and do some damage we can't port so we can just lay him down there we can attack this guy oh he's he's playing dps which is kind of funny we oh my goodness i was not able to interrupt him so we can just go to the next guy here we use our healing skill oh my goodness and the damage output is already really, really nice look at this damage output guys and you will see why i like this build so much we can go ahead 1.9k single damage which is pretty nice uh, the thief should have decapped me while the far point but it is also okay like this we can try and interrupt this guy. When he tries to interrupt us, we will just do. We interrupt his uh, sword, two uh, sword three attack, which is there to let him down and pour there. We do this. We will auto attack him now to death. Uh, he will pour away. Oh my goodness! So close. Look at this. He was about to die. We use the healing skill now. We use the elite skill. Oh, and I could have used my elite skill. I'm dead. Yeah. I could have survived a little bit longer, but it makes no sense. Ah, uh, he should not res me. It is too dangerous. This guy is playing Reaper and the, uh, this Revenant is DPS. Okay, the Revenant had a little bit luck here. He just survived with like uh, 50 HP or something like that, but it was fun enough. And you see, this build is pretty solid. For those players who don't have Heart of Thorns of pa or Path of Fire. I will never forget you guys, I always liked to play builds that are, uh, let's say, non-meta builds and stuff like that. And even for those players who have no Heart of Thorns and Path of Fire, you, you also need some decent builds to enjoy PvP. I mean, PvP is something that I would have said, let, let, let all players that have Guild Wars 2, that just bought the main game, have the expansions on PvP at least. Because on PvP it is something else. You just have PvP, you can't go ahead and uh, farm equipment and stuff like that. You just have PvP. We just port up here, because, yeah. We blinded this guy, we do this. We block now attacks. We need to stay out of the circle. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I should really watch this Revenant. This was a little bit out of play. Uh, yeah, I wanted to 1v1 this guy. It would have been a funny one. The Reaper, DPS, is he playing, I guess? Let's just check it out. Yeah, 7k. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's playing DPS. Oh, 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 oh. What is this guy doing, man? This is mistake gameplay. 
Now, instead of stand your ground, you basically should better play with um, judgments, judgments, blah blah, inter intervention. Yes, because of the extra port, which means when you have sword and judges intervention, you have a lot of nice ports. Yeah, this guy is the firebrand support. I don't need to one v one him, but I can instead go and do Swanier if he lets me do that. The thief, uh, what is the thief doing? The enemy team is having more. We activate our healing skill just because we can. And now we just need to hope that we are able to do more damage than this guy. What the hell he's playing <laughs> DPS. We do this. He stole the beast. Wow, awesome. He stole the beast, but he's playing some weird build. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't hold on. But you can see this, we are able to just sustain certain damage output. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> what mistakes they are doing, man. No, I should have used Contemplation of Purity. Yeah, the survivability seems to be nice here. Our thief is a little bit too slow, <coughs> but never mind. We can still turn the game. I failed a little bit as fun here. But I forgot that I'm playing on Mace. Mace is too slow for getting the 100% sure kill on Swan here, but otherwise we could have got it. Uh, let's just go ahead and go on close when we want this guy. On far, he's Hollow Smith against Reaper. Could work normally. We can take this guy. He should have not an advantage over us. We do this, interrupt him, try to kill his stupid clones. We try to kill his clones, we need to dodge that attack. We block now. And now we can just... Okay, he will use his shield. He's playing... What? He's not using his shield, which is bad for him. We interrupt him not. He's, he should die here. He should die here, but what, what is my thief doing, man? He's not dealing damage. We have him now. Uh, the thief is playing the sword build, I guess. We're just gonna quickly finish this guy off. Hmm. I want to wait for the forest creature, but... Chieftain. Utah is here, Chieftain is there, on the right side. Hmm, hmm, hmm. If, if I'm right. Am I right? I'm not sure if I'm right. No, the I'm not right. Never mind. We just can go ahead and try to finish off this guy, but my allied friends are not able to. They should stop chasing him. This is a mainly bad mistake that are that they are doing. They just take too long to chase this guy down. And the thief has no clue what he's doing because he's either going far or mid and on both points there are enemies. So he's not really able to get anything going on there. We just block one attack here. Now we can just auto attack this guy. He's playing DPS burning. We do this. Oh my goodness. I need to be careful because this guy is dealing good damage. We block this attack. He's still not really able to get a lone DPS going to kill me. But this is fine. We can do this. You can see the survivability is still kind of set to a good thing here. Now I'm dead, I'm dead. I can't sustain the damage of the Revenant with when he gets the entire time support from the Firebrand. Ah. But you see this? He dies off point. This guy is doing nothing. The engineer or whole smith is doing a good job doing this, and the thief is not getting the decap on far. He he's getting it nice. Uh, the scourger, what the, this guy is playing, he's taking too long for doing this beast. He t he took too long during that time. Now uh, the whole smith is losing. He Your should go on close. I can take the one we want on far, and middle is lost. He will do this. We need to dodge. We need to be careful now. 
use the healing skill, do this. Oh my goodness, and I wasted my F3 virtue as well, which is... Oh my goodness, no! I have no lead skill! <laughs> I'm just seeing it too late, I'm just seeing it too late, which is really bad. Oh my goodness. I would have won this, 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 I would have won this. Ah, I would have won this so good. Oh, heal, 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 heal. Stomp, 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 stomp. We will have won that. Damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. That game could have been so cool, man. What do I get? I get nothing. I haven't even got the top stat damage. Yeah. The stupid Firebrand just saved this Revenant. He saved him. That's unfair, dude. You, He healed him so many times, man. This is so unfair. They just played unfair to me. And the Reaper just won because he chilled me the entire time and I had my Elite not ready. If I would have got my Elite, I would have won that. <laughs> I can't accept the loss, I know. But now, just for the ending, I'm just gonna quickly show you what I meant with that. The, this build is pretty strong. And as I said, it's Stand Your Ground can be swapped. And now let's just go ahead and attack this guy. Oh, he's also playing that. We do dodge, we blind. We blind him one more time. And you can see it here, the auto damage is pretty, pretty solid. We can just go for a stomp. I'm sorry, dude, I just want to attack all of you. We activate the healing skill and now we attack all of them. Just because we can. We have a condition onto us and look at this damage output. Hey, don't run away from me. <laughs> oh, 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 he's using the healing skill that he get healed. We block some attacks. We have this now. Now we can just attack, 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 attack. Use the healing skill, block some attacks, kill this other guy here. And look at this damage output, guys. Tell me that you don't like this damage. Six point. We use this, use the elite skill, activate F1 virtue again. Now we can just auto attack this guy one more time. We can blind him, or we are not blinding him because he's using the healing skill there we can blind him now run away we don't attack him because he's using his healing skill blocking attacks we do this we block now an attack and he should take heavy damage he's not taking any damage wow we can do this now blind him and auto attack him to death activate the healing skill get a quick stomp if he's not using his skill there he's using it wow <laughs> i don't know why for what reason but we can just do this auto attack auto attack and look at this this is so funny man <laughs> if you have enemies who are not prepared for your damage they just get wrecked and you deal so much damage look at this how, how much fun this is we can go on for the next guy maybe i'm breaking a new record now <laughs> if i'm fighting those people here like this you can just see it here, if we're getting the, the entire time this retaliation buff up, we can deal heavy damage. Come on, attack, attack, attack. We use the healing skill, we block now attacks. Now it is dangerous, now it is dangerous. We need to block, we need to block. We do this, holy schmoly, we activate virtue 1, deal some damage, run away. Focus onto the, the thief, because he's... He was chasing me around. We can block now one attack. No one is attacking us, which is nice. Uh, sorry guys, I just had to cut the video. <coughs> because uh, the recording just interrupted. I don't know for what reason. And then I just stopped playing and I just got killed from five players. <laughs> which is so sad. Um, I'm just going to... No to end this video because I don't like that when it interrupts. You can see it here we are using uh, Sigil of Doom, Sigil of Exploitation, Sigil of Intelligence and Sigil of Doom twice. Why Sigil of Doom? Because it is really really strong, 5 seconds poison, the enemy will have not so much healing and he will not be able to sustain our damage when he has reduced healing, which is pretty annoying. That, that was the thing what I was thinking of, but you have to hit the enemy which is a little bit tricky when you fail some attacks. Uh, Sigil of Exploitation for the extra damage and Sigil of Intelligence because Maze 3, you saw it, dealt up to 7k damage, which is pretty pretty strong when it crits 100%. Uh, 
then we have rule of leadership for the increased boon duration by uh, how much? 30% should it be? Yes, 30% increased boon duration, which is pretty pretty solid and strong. Then we have Valkyrie Amulet for the power, vitality and ferocity. You can see it here we have critical damage is increased. Uh, it gets over 1k, you will see it here when we get few uh, retaliation. Yes, you see it here, 1.2k almost ferocity, which is there to have high damage output. Uh, what I meant by I would have beaded the Reaper if I would have got my renewed focus. The elite skill of this here, Rune of Leadership, has uh, converting two conditions into boons. And I had two conditions, uh, I had more than two conditions, but I could have got the extra healing from from this, 2k healing, fury and the two boons. And I would have killed the Reaper for sure, I would say. Uh, the build is still the same, Valor, Virtues and Radiance. We have here Smiter's Boon, Stalwart Defender, Monk's Focus, Retaliatory <laughs> Subconscious, Absolute Resolution, Indomitable Courage and Healer's Retribution. Retribution and Rito's, Rite, Rito's, Rito's Instincts, Rito's Instincts, I don't know how to say it right, sorry. <laughs> the build is mainly built on having Retaliation applying heavy damage and getting a lot of might. You will see it here uh, on the golem. When we activate the healing skill, we will do this. We activate this. We will grant ourselves a lot of might. And you can see it here, we immediately get the 2.5k above average 2.5k uh, might, which is there to just be applying heavy damage. You can see it here, the damage is almost you can say that we will always always get the 2.5k when we hit when we crit the enemies a lot with that you can see it here 2.5k plus we will get a uh, virtue of justice always uh, recharged when we when we down an enemy which you maybe saw what while I was playing uh, virtue one also will blind the enemies which is pretty strong when we when you stomp an enemy you just saw it, I ha we had two downed enemies, I activated my virtue one. After the first died, the other one was still alive, I can activate it one more time, get the additional might, get an extra blind, extra retaliation, extra light aura, and just be pretty annoying with that. You can see it here one more time against the NPC. We are having here now uh, retaliation. We can do this, activate stability and re extra retaliation, and now we can activate F1 get the extra might and you can see it here how high the damage output is 1.8k 2.1k with the mace 3k damage with the last mace attack block this attack and yeah just be annoying with that uh, this build is there for players who don't have as I said it heart of thorns or path of fire it is pretty pretty strong and pretty solid if you want more mobility you can remove stand your ground with judges intervention for the extra mobility to apply burning extra healing and yeah just to have more mobility and an extra stun break but of course those two skills are stun breakers the next thing is change uh, litany of wrath the meditation skill for uh, shelter because you will still have meditation when you use your healing skill with that one here smiter spoon when you use your healing skill so it does not matter if you use this or shelter shelter is just there to have a little bit more survivability what shelter does it it blocks for two seconds all incoming damage which is pretty nice of course unblockable attacks will not be blocked by that but all other attacks will be blocked which is pretty nice and the healing is also a little bit more i would say especially because when you when the enemies are attacking you you have the six seconds litany of wrath but if you don't do damage you will be doing nothing you will not get extra healed but this the healing of this skill is of course much better but i sometimes like to have shelter because of the block survivability uh yeah sigils and runes can be swapped mace can be swapped for uh, what is the name of its scepter to have range attack and then immobilize to just be able to burst enemies from the distance you can use your healing skill and then auto attack with mace to get an additional damage output hmm and what else i don't know what else to say thanks all for watching again i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of my videos you will see now three of my other videos and you can also subscribe to my channel only if you like to if not don't do it 
Thanks all for watching. That was Happy No. Bye bye, guys.